In health news, if you eat right but still can't lose weight, you might be diet resistant. But what does that actually mean? We'll have that answer coming up. But first, Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with a concerning trend and an important warning about advanced cervical cancer. Doc. Yeah, Kim and Devin, it is concerning. A new study finds cases of stage four cervical cancer, that's the most advanced and difficult to treat, have been on the increase. Between 2001 and 2018, stage four cervical cancer wrote, rose at a rate of 1.3% per year. Meanwhile, early stage cervical cancer rates actually fell, which basically suggests that more cases are simply being diagnosed later. Now, the researchers really emphasized young women especially should not skip their routine gynecology exams, even when they feel fine. Now, do you have a tough time losing weight? Well, if so, you may be what some are calling diet resistant. New research suggests those people may need to both work out and watch what they eat to effectively lose weight. Researchers say slow weight losers respond much better to exercise than those who lost weight more quickly. People who struggle with weight loss may actually have muscle cells that are just more efficient at storing energy rather than burning it off. Now finally, whether you want to build muscle or just keep what you have, a relatively light workout several times a week actually beats a more intense one just once a week. That's according to a small study of 36 people who were described basically in the study as sedentary. Now, it really isn't clear why less intense but more frequent workouts produced the biggest benefit, but the researchers actually suspect that a simply too long a week between exercises in terms of stimulating muscle cells. A lot of folks will find that less intimidating. This nice, is true. Yeah, and, and work better. Yeah. All right, Doc.